What is up everybody, Golden Yogi here, and you are tuning into the channel with the Golden Perspective. Today we are going to take a look at Unidex Gas and maybe a couple of the other of these tokens, um, as Unidex Gas was not the first one, but it's the one that I seem to be liking the most. Um, I've dipped myself into uh, four different ones. Before we get started, I want to kindly invite you to subscribe down below if you have not already. Thank you to all those who have. While you're down there, turn on the post notifications, select all so you, uh, YouTube knows that you want to see all this content. You can decide at that point whether it fits you or not. Just do it. You'll be happy later on. And anytime along the video you have something, a comment of any sort, please feel free to drop it down below. Um, also like, share, uh, dislike, that's fine with me too. It really helps me uh, find out whether or not people are liking this content. My one concern, or one, sorry, one request is that when you comment, please think about what you're gonna say, make it count, and try using these two little tools that are absolutely free, kindness and compassion, all right? If more humans were using this, we would probably be enjoying the world around us a lot more. I know I am because I use that and the universe just reflects it back to me. So that's my challenge to you. Now let's get into it. We got unit X gas, all right? Um, essentially what this is, is Unit X Gas offers a cash back option for your gas spending. Now, just like, um, you know, going to certain stores or whatever, and you spend so much and you get reward points, it's a lot like that, okay? But you need to have some of these. So let's say, for instance, you have $1,000 worth of UNDG. 2% of that would equal $20. That means that you would be eligible every day for $20 in uh, basically a rebate in more UNDG tokens to cover the $20 of gas that you spent. Now, if you didn't spend a full $20 in gas that day, then you're only gonna get what you spent. If you spent over that, you will get your $20, but you will not get more than that. So something you can do <clears throat> is you can go to, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but if you were to go to Etherscan, um, let's see, I'm just gonna like pick an address. So, all right, so you can go to Etherscan and um, you can pull a CVS report. Okay, so you can take it between the dates. All right, let's say, let's do this. Um, I'm not a robot. So, of course, oops. <clears throat> Download, open this up. And once it opens up, Tick, 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 waiting a little too long. Anyway, uh, come on. <laughs> Forgive me for this. In the meantime, let's go um, take a look at the interface. As you can see here, I have 3.53 UNDGs, all right? Um, it shows me right here. Okay, look at that. I have some unclaimed. I can go and claim this right now, okay? So, um, that's 0.4 UNDG, and should we go do it? Should we do it? Let's go see. If I claim right now, when you claim my 0.4 UNDG, there's a 10% claim tax. The gas fee is spent by us and is adjusted at source in the number of tokens you receive. Minimum claim value should be $30. Continue, yes or no? So the minimum claim value should be $30. It is currently 62.48, so I could go do that right now. Before I do that, I wanna cover a few other things. Let's check to see if, uh... nope, it's not liking it. So, for whatever reason. Um... 
Let's open up the white paper here and go through a couple things. Um, I'm just gonna glaze over it quickly because this is a fairly simple concept, but um, yeah, you can go and read this all for yourself. Um, but the max daily cap of 2% of all the amount of tokens being held as cashbacks. Um, this is the biggest thing. Is this model sustainable? The following information will break down all the aspects of the UNGD token, such as its characteristics, tokenomics, sustainability, utility, and how the token works and its features. So, here's what it was. 10,000 tokens. 3,500 were for the token sales, so they could raise money. 3,500 allocated for cashback rewards inside the rewards fund. 1,500 be added to the liquidity pool in Uniswap. 750 for the team, 750 for marketing. Okay, I did not receive anything. Um, I simply have asked, you know, for a uh, uh, referral link so far. Um, nobody's gotten back to me. Um, unsold tokens will be sent to the rewards fund. Okay, if the token sale is successful and the hard cap is reached, then the initial numbers at the moment of launching will be. Uh, this is how much would be in wallets because that's what was it would be in the token sale. Um, this is the rewards fund and add it to liquidity for in Uniswap. <clears throat> now, to make this project and token sustainable in time, it's mandatory to have a reserve of UND of the tokens that can be refilled constantly called the rewards fund. This fund can be filled charging a 4% fee on every transaction from wallet to wallet and buys on Uniswap. This would also mean sells. In our model, transfers from the rewards fund wallet are excluded from the 4% tax. Um, <clears throat> right, so the rewards fund has been whitelisted. Uh, I could be wrong about the cells, but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna hit this on the cell too. So at this point, UTC daily, <clears throat> which just happened, that's probably why I was seeing um, some rewards here, okay. You'll, be, you'll have your claimable amount, which would be 100% of what they spent in gas fee, but with a max cap of 2% of the amount of their tokens being held. So, my amount of tokens being held, 3.53. Let's go run some maths. Now, this amount can, you know, the dollar amount can change over time, but we have 3.53 times 440, which I think the price has gone up since I first purchased it. So that's 1,553, so times 0 .02, $31. Now, so times two, see that looks more like what I have here. Cashback eligibility, um, let's see, yeah, the, because this is the, this line right here is where I bought, so the price is a little bit higher, so it makes sense that I, I my 2% amount has increased because the token price has increased. The part I'm, <clears throat> I'm unsure of because it looks like their interface is a little laggy. Um, I'm sure they can work on that and because this is a newer project being that um, January 21st is when it hit Uniswap. Um, but yeah, let's go back to this. Uh, in USD terms, it would be USDT terms. It would mean that if someone is holding five thousand dollars worth of UNDG, then they can spend and claim a max of hundred dollars worth of UNDG that day. Examples in USD. So you can see this. Boom, boom, boom. This is all twenty percent of this number. Okay. Um, so that's what I was getting at over in if you pull, let's see if this ever came up. No, it doesn't like it. Um, if you were to pull your CSV file, this is what I was trying to show you, um, and then you, you can see all your transactions within a time period, and you can see the fees at which you paid. You could take all that, sum it up, average it over the amount of days that you're looking at, and then you can start to figure out how much you spend in gas a day. Now that's always gonna vary a little bit, but you can see your trend. 
then you can go, all right, in order to cover that in the 2%, I should buy this many tokens. Now, yes, the token price can fluctuate. If it goes down, you will your amount that you're gonna receive back will go down. That's the downside risk. On the upside, it can go up. Now, if the price stays the same at 2%, and you and you continually use about the same amount of gas 50 days it takes for you to roi on the cost of buying the tokens for you to receive this pretty cool right and so can this be sustainable um when a holder claims rewards as we saw before 10 percent will be taxed and will go directly to the person who referred them but if the holder is claiming didn't register through any referral link, then this 10% will go to the rewards fund. To claim a reward, the reward uh, the holder has to pay the gas for the transaction. So it's best to uh, recommend to wait a few days and let the cashback rewards accumulate before claiming uh, them to save gas to save from the gas fees. Although from time to time, the liquidity pool may be supplied with tokens from the rewards fund if it builds up way more than what is required. Um, the key to this token is sustainability of the rewards fund. Each day the rewards fund will grow and decrease depending on the buy volume, the amount of tokens uh, held in wallets, and holders use of their total daily spent max limit, which is 2%, right? Um, let's see, with all the information in mind, the following formula shows sustainable uh, the rewards fund actually is. So you can see here um, a few different uh, ways on how to look at this. I would suggest you go look at all this, all right, because it helps um, understand how this all works. So the amount of tokens bought minus the amount of tokens sold gets you, you know, this many tokens. The resultant tokens minus 4% of the uh, tokens bought gets you a new variable, okay? The initial amount of tokens held in wallets plus this number up here equals the new amount of tokens held in the wallets. The new amount of tokens held in the wallets times the daily spending limit capped at 2% equals tokens to be rewarded. Now the new amount of tokens in the rewards fund minus tokens to be rewarded is the final amount of tokens in the rewards fund, right? It's all making sense. And then the, the final amount of tokens in the rewards fund minus the initial amount of tokens in the rewards fund times 100% divided by the initial amount of tokens in the rewards fund equals the increase or decrease percentage in the rewards fund. Now, bottom line, that was a lot for me to say really quickly. Again, I suggest you come read this because yes, this is all experimental. And I have looked at a few other of these gas tokens that have higher payouts, but they don't have what I feel can maintain the sustainability the best, okay? Um, you know, that's what this is whole, all this is, this white paper is kind of showing, is it's showing you like different scenarios <clears throat> in which, uh, like right here, okay, this is a pretty simple thing. Okay, scenario one through four, tokens uh, bought, tokens sold, the fee attached to it, the new amount in the wallets, okay? And in the end, um, like if a holder spent, you know, either 0.5% or 1% on average, you know, then 1.5 and 2%, you can see how the uh, reward fund decreased, okay? So, you know, even somebody holding a lot and then having full 2%, it decreased the least amount, okay? So bottom line is if people keep using this and the claiming happens, the rewards are going to keep moving, all right? And... Uh, I think too they said that there's um, later on they can have like community votes on to like change 
uh, a few things like what I think what they can do is they can change the amount of tax on the rewards so that would be again right here so if I claim again right now it says it's it's a 10% claim tax but maybe they can change it to 15% 20% at certain times to build the rewards pool back up which would probably keep people from claiming so much which would then also uh, if people aren't claiming then that probably means that they're not selling it either which probably means that the token price will go up which also means that you'll then receive more um, in your gas cost rebates you know this this whole thing has uh, quite a few dynamics to play out but I think it's really cool there's also a medium here you can come and look um, one thing I went and looked at is the the um, the initial ICO price was uh, 7 UNDG tokens for uh, one ETH now that puts the price at oops let's grab this one that puts the price it was like 14.2 let's say right there so if we look at the difference to the price right now to that you know because prices moved up okay it's 144 percent but if you look at the overall chart as well and you and you come up here you see like oops how high is that let's go over it's already gone up like 3.8 um six per uh x so 386 percent and you know you can kind of see here like this initial pump probably some this was like the initial uh you know any of the people who were just in it for the short term got into their you know into an uh an over-the-counter purchase and where they wanted to take profit you know um which is really funny because like you look at okay um oops let's grab that again what did they do they made 120 percent so they made their they uh like basically doubled their money and then they were out okay but like you know and then these people made 200 percent these people it was up around 300 and they maybe they were going to wait for more but like you know that once that 3x hit in they were looking at it and then boom you can see it was just the sell-off but it still stayed up here at you know a 2x level started to rise again more you know the people who who missed the opportunity and and and, and missed this slide now sold it off even more came up here came down now we're looking for the floor again but the fact that it's matched up over here to this um this initial pump it looks good to me you know and also the fact that you're getting rewards i was happy to buy in this range okay um i'll continue to uh, uh to watch this of course because i am now using it um something else all right uh just as some of the competitors there's ethanol okay which has been around longer if you look at ethanol launched back in late november okay um and the same kind of thing you look at their price it came down and i don't know what the uh the listing price was or not listing price but the um ICO price was but you know couldn't have been that low I mean that's the floor right there oh, look at that it goes backwards um, so maybe this could come down further or it could you know over for Unidex gas but you know I bought this over here now this is looking good it's been traded longer um, they're both within about the same price range um, but this one does two and a half percent per day. So I went and bought some of these as well, okay? Because what's cool is each one, you can do one, say you go on a Uniswap and you do one transaction and you spend some gas. They're gonna reimburse me and they are gonna reimburse me, okay? And they are gonna reimburse me and they are gonna reimburse me okay so I am gonna to continue to use all these to figure out who is going to supply me the best returns along with who is built the most sustainable 
idea because again we're in crypto baby everything's an experiment so just got to look at these but i think these are all worthy of exploration they're they they're not in the realm of any sort of pump and dump kind of activity uh, of course you could always see something else here and then come out and rug um, but the fact that they're all using different UIs, they're not just like stealing from each other, you know? Yes, they are using similar, you know, each one, eligibility, upcoming, unclaimed, total claimed, same thing, do, 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 right? And over here, but even one more, expected. Uh, this one I got into a little bit later, so I'm not sure why, but not too much later. Like it was, uh, it was like maybe like just over 24 hours ago that, um, not even that, no, it was less than 24 hours ago. I bought the index gas and the ethanol. And then a couple hours later, uh, before going to sleep, I bought the gas gains and, um, what is this one? GCB, what do we call it? Oh, gas cash back. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna ride these out, really cool. Um, I was looking also at the ethanol um, uh, white paper. Uh, they also have these vaults that you can go and lock into. Let's see, right here, the vaults. <clears throat> okay, I'm not gonna look at that right now because you gotta go plug in your address. Anyway, these vaults are like another way to um, to get your returns all right um, so you can lock these up for like you know and earn like say 40% for a month and up to 500% annually if you lock them up for that period of time okay which I guess to them what that's doing is it's just taking them off the market which is hoping to move the price in the upward direction um, and in return you're gonna get uh, you know cashed out but <clears throat> so this one does have a 10% withdrawal fee um, which all goes to this this did have a pre-sale as well um, the team tokens are a lot higher than the other one they both were uh, 10,000 um, so come in and do your research you know, uh, there's plenty of info on these gas gains and um, gas cash back are the new kids on the block. Uh, so they may, um, I don't know why this is not showing any um, transactions here. There we go. Oh, no. So let's see. Rewards. Yeah, nothing, nothing yet. So maybe it's got to do like one more cycle and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you think. Um, also down below, I do have a, uh, a link for um, the ethanol. Uh, what is it, referral? So I would appreciate it. You know, if this is something, if this got introduced to you by me um, and you want to support, please use that referral link and I will see you around in the next one. All right, everybody, love you, take care, peace.